Dr. Friday, tax and financial firm. You're saying, what does she really do? I help save you money and I keep the IRS off your back. That's right, I can help you deal with the Internal Revenue Service and I can save you lots and lots of money. Why? Because taxes are game to a point and you've got to understand how they work and most people just don't have the time. I can help you with personal tax returns, business tax returns, uh, estate tax returns, inheritance tax returns, nonprofits. If there's a tax return, I can help you with it. It's all about knowing how to complete them so you can put more money in the back and keep this guy off your back. So if you want to reach me, all you have to do is pick up the phone, give me a call at 615-367-0819 or go to www.drfriday.com. Now back to the Dr. Friday Show. Breaking news on the Dr. Friday Show. This is going to be about job search. That's right. We're going to show you and talk to you about how you need to present yourself to be able to find a job. Okay, so you've been unemployed for almost two years. Your unemployment has either run out or is on the verge of running out. You're a professional. What is that going to look like on your resume? Lion Club job search. That's right. There's a big blog, a gentleman that's wrote the book. You need to know a lot more about how are you going to present yourself. Some of the things that he brings up in the book, Mr. Margolin, that's right. Mr. Margolin is the author of Lion Club job search. And this is going to come. What can you do to minimize the impact of the unemployment on your professional status? Well, one of the things he says is plain and simple. Keep your credentials. Don't let them expire just because you're not using them right now. Stay on top of your industry. When you go in and do an interview and the first thing they're going to say is, oh, the resume is right here. You haven't been employed for a bit of time, right? What have you been doing? Well, I've been twiddling my thumbs. No, you've been staying on top of all the changes. You've continued your education. You have made yourself an invaluable employee to them. They're going to be getting the top of the line college students right now. They're going to probably want to work for maybe less than what you have been working for. So if you're going to be the professional they want to hire, what are you going to offer? So this is what this book and blogging is all about. It's going to show you how to present the best of you because I think maybe some of you have kind of forgot how to do that. You're not remembering that when you went out and got your job, maybe it was 10 years ago and then you were employed for many years and then you lost the job. You forgot how to present yourself. One of the things everybody, and he talks about that as well, self-esteem. Being unemployed has made you a bit unconfident. Miss, you know, you don't understand why you're not getting jobs. You keep getting flapped in the face saying, I can't get the job. And when they say you're, you're too qualified, next time you're not qualified enough, you're too expensive, you're not charging enough, you don't seem to understand. But when you want to and you go and get a job, you have to be confident. You're the employee they need to hire. You have every qualification. You're not going to be disappearing overnight. You want to build their business. You're going to bring something to them. It comes to being confident of who you are. That confidence spills over into everything you do. And it definitely spills over into being a great employee. Okay, I'm an employer. What do I want from an employee? Do I want someone that's going to sit there and never look me really in the eye and say, yeah, I really, I haven't been employed. I've been trying, I've, I've went on to a lot of internet sites and I've tried to get my brochure and my, my resume and things out there, but yeah, do I really want that? Or do I want someone that says, I am your person. I know what I'm doing. I've been unemployed because I haven't found the right job. I haven't met the right person. We could work together. We're going to have this kind of relationship. Do I want someone that's going to look me in the eye and say, I have been unemployed for this reason and have a reason. Stop making excuses. Read this information. Figure out how you're going to become confident. Stand up straight and know who you are. All right, this has been breaking news on the Dr. Friday Show. All right, g'day, I'm Dr. Friday and this is the Kids Corner. This is when we get to talk to all you parents and maybe a lot of you kids, but what it's all about is building your future. That's right, the Kids Corner is gonna be about the Dr. Friday Entrepreneurship Camp for Kids. This is pretty straightforward, guys. It's got a long title, but really all it's about is building your future. Do you have a dream? Do you want to do something? You really just have no idea how to get started. 
That's what this camp is all about. It's helping you become a better you. It's helping you become all you can be, as we like to say sometimes. We're gonna cover the four C's. You're saying, okay, what is this camp? Let's say you're in Franklin. You're gonna come to Ladybug Ranch. You're gonna be a Monday through Friday, eight to four, and we're gonna have fun. This is about games. This isn't about book learning and sitting down and doing. We're gonna learn a lot, but it's through games and entertainment. We're gonna make it fun for you. And then when you walk away, you're gonna go, Wow, I didn't know I learned all that because so many things can be taught to you by actually experiencing it. Then on Saturday, you're going to actually have this open market, right? And you're going to have a product. Trust me, by Saturday, you will have a product. You're going to have something. It may be an app someone can download. It may be a product. It may be something that you're going to assemble, sort of like a photo gallery of some sort depending on your dream and you're going to sell it to the public. That's right. You're going to have a product and you're going to learn how to deal with the public. It's that simple guys. And you're never going to find something. This is a one of kind camp. You go in there and you look under entrepreneurship camp. You will find the Dr. Friday camp under Google, under any of the search engines, because we are unique. We want to build your future. We believe in you. We know kids from eight to 14 have all kinds of dreams. You're not too young to start building your future. And we have the tools for you to do that. So all you have to do is keep watching. Then go to www.drfriday.com, click on Kids Camp, and you're gonna find out all the information you need to know. Download the form, fill it out, because the camps are filling up quickly, but I want you to join me at the Dr. Friday Entrepreneurship Camp for Kids. Dr. Friday's Entrepreneurship Camp for Boys and Girls. Does your child want to deal with horses or dogs? Maybe they want to be a musician. Maybe they want to climb the highest mountains just to see what it feels like, to get that adrenaline flying. Maybe they want to be creators. Maybe they're going to create the next internet game or the next app. Better yet, maybe they've got a dream to build the next business like Apple, like Steve Jobs. All of these things are possible if they come to Dr. Friday's Entrepreneurship Camp for Boys and Girls. We're going to teach tomorrow's children how to be everything they want to be. This is about giving your children the ability to go after everything they want. They're going to learn the four C's. Curiosity, confidence, creativity, and courage. So go to www.drfriday.com and click on kids and sign up today. All right, I hope you enjoyed the Dr. Friday show. I know I did, and I'm sure my buddy Herc did. But if you want to know more, go to www.drfriday.com. Find out about the kids camp. Sign up for the free newsletter. Also, if you need somebody to come out and video something, call Matt at Audio Video Art. I hope that was right. Audio Video Art. And also, you know what? Just pick up the phone. Give me a call. We're here to help you with your taxes and your accounting. 615-367-0819.